Uh, how dare you ask me that question? You know that was controversial. I mean, it's a question with no answer. You know my next guest from True Detective, Baywatch, and Percy Jackson, aka the weirdest all-day entertainment binge ever. Her new series is the dark comedy The White Lotus on HBO. It's Alexandra Daddario. Hey, Alex. Hi. So good to see you. Um, so, okay, congrats on this new one. Despite the title, The White Lotus is not a horticulture show. It's no. not a it's not a description of a Kama Sutra technique. No, no. How do you describe The White Lotus to your confused relatives? What is this show? The White Lotus is about basically a bunch of terrible people who go on vacation to a fancy resort and think that their problems are the most important problems in the world and sort of avoid really taking the time to understand the world around them. You shot this in Hawaii. It's in the crazy year that was 2020. Now be honest, when you just saw new series shooting in Hawaii, did you even go to the second page or were you just like, we're good? You know, to be honest, I was really excited to work with Mike White. I just yeah. think he's incredible. So that was my first thing. And then I was like, oh, if I'm going to be quarantined, I get to quarantine in a hotel in Maui. So yes, I mean, it was a no brainer. <laughs> Do you ever take a job based on location? Like, would you yes. take Yes, the answer is no. You're like, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I certainly almost hysterically was like, I need to have experiences for a long period of my life. So yes, there's been times I've been like, oh, it shoots where? Great, let's do it. We'll figure the rest out later. <laughs> Are you ready, Alex, for some stupid games, some stupid challenges for you? Yes. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to list out some things that you may or may not be into. Kind of White Lotus inspired. These are vacation and resort inspired activities. We've imaginatively titled this game, Dadara Do or Dadara Don't. Okay, an Airbnb that's haunted. Where do you stand? Um, Dadara Do. Really? I mean, how haunted could it possibly be? Well, I mean, maybe something cool will happen that's a cool story. There's some scary movies out there where it doesn't end well, but good, good on you for being adventurous. Well, I don't want gonna... that to happen. If that's gonna happen, then it's a Dadara Don't. But if it's just like, oh, something cool happens that's a story, then it's a Dadara Do. Eating the last piece of French toast at the all-you-can-eat buffet. Dadara Do, they'll bring out more. That's the beauty of it. It's a buffet. Speaking of buffets, where do you stand on the all-you-can-eat seafood buffet? I feel like I'm being snobbish if I say to dare or don't. I just think you're playing Russian roulette. Food poisoning is really bad. That's not where you want to go out. No, no, no. Clogging the Instagram feed with vacation flex photos. I want to say to dare or don't, but I've done that. I was going to say, I think we've got the receipts. I feel like I could dig up some. I'm not having as good of a time as it looks. We all know it's fake. A fan pays for an all expenses paid vacation for you. I <laughs> did dare it don't. It's very kind, but I'd rather the fan take the vacation. I'll buy someone a vacation. Oh, wow. Uh-oh, I just said that. <laughs> all right, some provocative would you rather questions. This is our unpleasant honeymoon edition in honor of the White Lotus. You ready? Yes. Would you rather the hot tub only have cold water or the mini bar only has lukewarm light beer? The mini bar only has lukewarm light beer. I'd rather be warm than drunk. Okay. Here's our poll quote. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather your room have one tiny bed or all the food be from Arby's? One tiny bed. We'll cuddle. We'll snuggle. There you go. Would you rather your honeymoon be at a nude beach or at a Baywatch themed resort? <laughs> oh God, a nude beach. I can handle a little nudity. Would you rather the TV in your hotel room constantly be showing the Percy Jackson films or True Detective? The only thing oh, you can watch. that's a hard one. I'll say True Detective only because Percy Jackson is so near and dear to my heart. Yes. I could focus more on the moment with True Detective. You're getting a massage at this lovely resort. Would you rather get the massage from Edward Scissorhands or Kim Jong-un? Uh, how dare you ask me that question? You know, that was controversial. I mean, it's a question with no answer. <laughs> I guess I have to say Edward Scissorhands. Maybe we'll have an interesting conversation. It'll be a brief one as he punctures <laughs> your back, but yeah. <laughs> Would you rather find out that your husband has a third nipple or find out that he watches porn for the cool plots? <laughs> I'm liberal. I mean, I support porn viewing, but I guess the third nipple because we all know that the second one would be a lie. Well, you know, look, there's some really great writers on that stuff. Sure. I'll go with the third nipple. Okay, fair enough. Again, another good pull quote. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got an acting challenge for you, consummate actress that you are. Okay. I'm going to give you some unfortunate 
honeymoon vacation scenarios. I want to see your best reaction face. Great. You have just caught the cleaning staff trying on your bathing suit. You've just caught your fiance trying on your bathing suit. <laughs> your ex is staying in the next room. Your engagement ring is a blood diamond, but you love the cut. You've just met your fiance's other new wife. Amazing. Give this woman all the awards. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Um, okay. One more challenge for you, Alex. You've got an up close and personal with your new co-stars, the White Lotus. Let's see how well you can ID them solely from these close-up photos of their lips. Okay. Let's start with the first one. Whose lips do these belong to, Alex? I'm actually not sure. I mean, it's a woman. Okay. Let's start. I'm going to go. Is it Connie? Let's see the reveal. Ah. Beautiful lips. Beautiful lips. The next one, let's see the next set of lips. Analyze these lips, what do you think? Steve. Uh, what's, what's the telltale sign? I just can tell. I was gonna say, if people haven't seen the first episode yet, it's not the lips you need to worry about, it's other body parts of Steve Zahn. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I spent <laughs> two and a half months quarantined with these people. Right, you better know. Mm. Now these, I know, intimately, only on screen. Of course, qualify, yeah. This is Jake. Yes, that is your screen partner, Mr. Jake. Oh, Lacey. I well feel like it. We found your next secret talent. Let's go to the That's next right. one. Identifying human beings by their lips. We're going to monetize this. Iconic well, lips. Well, these are the most famous pair of lips on the show. The icon, Jennifer Coolidge. We all bow down. Oh my God, do I love her. Look at that dress. Oh. She kills it on the show as she always does. She's amazing. Look within yourself. Whose lips are those? <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> What's, you just know you, you know yourself. Alex, that sadly wraps up this special time together. It is always a pleasure. Everybody needs to check out The White Lotus. Nothing can make you feel as good to watch somebody like Alex Adario go on the honeymoon from hell. I mean, that makes me feel better about myself. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, thanks, buddy, as always. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Josh.